Hello and uh, welcome to this little demonstration of two sound packs for the Genos. Uh, we've got Epic Strings 1 and Epic Strings 2. Now Epic Strings 1 says exactly what it does on the tin. Um, it's, it's strings. Basically this is a bank of five brand new sampled string sounds for, for Genos. This is the first voice which is called last strings obviously in the style of james last it's a very warm rich sort of sound And then we've got Mantovani. And there's a slight octave in the background. You can hear a, a lower note, which is exactly the same note as you're playing, but just one octave lower. And then we've got something called Throne, throne Strings which is very and then you've got my favorite which is sound stage which is a very big hollywood sort of sound And then we've got the last one in this first pack, which is called Film Score. Really nice, epic, wide string sounds. The Genos has very, um, I would describe as pop strings. They are very scratchy, very sort of short, and, and not particularly the, the warmest of strings. Whereas these... Very warm and rich. Okay, so that takes me on to the next pack which we have, which is Epic Strings 2. And this one is called The Mount of Army, which is slightly different to the first pack, because it's much higher. slightly thinner than the first one as well uh, and then we've got which is my favorite of all of these packs um, a, a voice called emotive strings and this is just lovely
And again, if you put a ballad style onto that. And then we've got James Lover's strings. And these strings sort of warm, grow in. And then we've got a voice called Andre Strings. And then we've got a Hans Zimmer style string, which is very dark. Very um, Batman sort of movie score. Really, really effective. And then we've got this lovely vibrato string. Very, um, very bubbly. And then we've got the traditional tremolo string. Now this voice is good if you use it in the left hand as your um, backing to your style because it adds really quite a lot of warmth. And then we've got symphony string. Very, very bright and very, very powerful. And then we've got a single bow. Ah, oh, sounds lonely. And then last in the second pack, the Epic Strings 2, we've got Lord of the String. And if you notice, these strings are easy to play. You don't need big, long, complicated runs. If I was, for example, to stick a rhythm with this particular voice, uh, just go into my ballads and go into Pop Evergreen, which is one of my favorites, and go to the first variation, turn the rhythm on. You can you can really get some great sound effects. Um, going back to the strings, go back to the emotive string.
really, really easy to add. And the other point to this whole demonstration is the fact that these two packs are actually compatible together. So if you buy both, both string sets will actually combine. So if I go to my user voice, go to, for example, strings two, and pick, in fact, let's go to strings one, because I've already got the other voice set up. So if I go to epic strings one, and pick, for example, soundstage, and add the second voice. And that's two voices layered together. So these really build up one very big string library. And the other point being, if you go into, again, just showing a little tip, if I go into my second voice and go to the voice setting and drop the string down one octave, it really does bulk up the string sound, but it, it gives you this massive, So, if you're looking for strings that are Hollywood, are big, full, rounded, then go to www.soundpacks.co.uk and look for Epic String 1 and Epic String 2. They're compatible with the SX900 Genos Tyros 5 for... Uh, in fact, tell all I know that compatible with Tyros 5, not Tyros 4. So for Tyros 5 upwards, they are compatible with the Yamaha models that have Expansion Manager or Load directly. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you these sounds. That they're, they're very, very big strings. Um, you can use them in the left hand, which... I mean, with the Genos, there isn't really a super, super left-hand string on here. Um, I always have to go into Legacy and then go in to choose the string voice, which is on page four. Um, but now I can use these strings in the left hand very, very simply. Just go to my left, choose the voice that I want. Um, let's have a look. Go back into Expansion. Go to Epic Strings 1, for example. Go to my Soundstage Strings. And all I will do... Is just move them up an octave in my left hand and you've got a really nice voice that you can use with the backing And there you have it, Epic 1, Epic 2 strings from soundpacks.co.uk. Have a listen, take a look at the website, there's loads of other voices, and I uh, hope you enjoy this little demonstration. <laughs> 